The third Democratic debate is set for tonight in Houston, Texas. Ten candidates have qualified to take the stage in order to gain support with voters across the country. Earlier, Caitlin Huey Burns spoke with the president of Emily's List, Stephanie Shrirock, about what issues voters, female voters in Texas, are most concerned about ahead of the 2020 presidential election. These folks are worried about their families, they're worried about health care, they're worried about their economic opportunities. And what they've seen, particularly from the Trump administration and the Republicans, is a whole series of, of bills that are just not helping that piece on top of that is the emotional chaos that they are just tired of out of out of Trump. If anybody is upset about the tweets more than anybody else in the world, it's those women in suburban America. They're fed up, they're done, and they want to see a change. It's really hard if you think about it. Like, How do you explain to your children when your president says and acts like this? It's really hard, and we hear it all the time. And so I think we're really seeing this movement even in North Carolina this week in a congressional seat in North Carolina 9, we saw a really big uh, positive indicator in, this, in the suburban area of Charlotte. And I'll tell you, if we perform like that as Democrats in North Carolina uh, in that congressional district, we're, we're winning North Carolina the state for the presidential. That's what's going on here. Several states we've seen over the past several months have taken action to restrict access to abortion. How is that playing with voters that you're talking to, with lawmakers that you're talking to, are we going to see a reaction to that? I think we're absolutely seeing that reaction now, and it's another piece of the story when it comes to women voters. Uh, you know, this is this is a really scary time. I mean, the vast majority of this country, seven out of ten Americans, believe that Roe v. Wade should stand. That access to uh, safe and legal abortion is critical in this country, and states across the country, including here in Texas, have put a lot of limitations. Uh, in fact, we are now about to be down to one uh, available Clinton. A clinic for Texans in the western part of the state. Now, the western part of Texas is practically like the entire east coast of America. It is a huge geographic area, and we're expecting women now to have to drive four, five, six hours to get to El Paso. This, this is a really devastating situation for women uh, and families across this country. And so what we are doing at EMILY's List is making the biggest investment we've ever made in legislative seats in 2020. We're going to spend $20 million targeted uh, in legislatures we, where we can pick up, make gains, and change this dynamic because women are depending on us to win these races.